tomorrow, but we are adding the chance for a shower and thunderstorm. That's new. And also humidity is ramping up very quickly. We are right back into the heat of summer by tomorrow afternoon. So if you have to get out and get active, if you're trying to do yard work, best time might actually be right now through the rest of the evening and maybe early tomorrow morning before that humidity rushes in because Low 80s and upper 70s right now on a dry triple Doppler brought to you by Falso Service Experts feels really nice and it's because that humidity is low. So let me take you through the rest of the overnight and through the day tomorrow with a future cast. Big eclipse day, right? That eclipse starts just after 1.15, peaks at 2.30 and ends just before 4 o'clock, right in those peak afternoon hours. We do have some changes in the initial forecast. Do still think we have decent viewing conditions, but definitely, I mentioned this yesterday, I'm going to reinforce it, earlier viewing is better. So around that 1.15, 1.17 115, mark, because watch what happens as we head into the afternoon. Cloud cover takes over pretty quickly. I do think Futurecast is a little aggressive with this, so still plenty of breaks of sunshine to watch the eclipse, but they will dwindle as we head into the afternoon. And watch what Futurecast does now. Most of us tomorrow, I would say about 80 to 90% of us tomorrow, stay completely dry. But now, because of heat, sun beating down, and all of that humidity that's rushing in, when all of those ingredients combine, there's the chance for something to pop up. On days like tomorrow, it's fairly unpredictable, but everything is hinting that most of this activity, any rumbles of thunder or showers, stay south and west of Syracuse. So Tompkins, Cortland, into the Finger Lakes. You guys might want to be on alert tomorrow afternoon for a pop-up shower, a little uh, uh, heavy downpour moving through, maybe some rumbles of thunder and a strong gust of wind. Syracuse in places northward should still be smooth sailing through the afternoon tomorrow. So again, viewing for the eclipse is still pretty good. I definitely think the best chance is early. Starts around 115, it peaks at 238, ends just before four o'clock, and again, Sunglasses aren't going to cut it. You need those eyeglasses. If you don't have them, your best chance is on a live stream like on our website, cmycentral.com. Our next forecast focus after the eclipse is Tuesday in the afternoon and evening because of a front moving through colliding with that humid air mass. We do have the chance for a few waves of strong thunders and strong thunderstorms that could move through. So again, starting around 2 o'clock on Tuesday, that's the next time you have to check your radar frequently and keep an eye out for any weather alerts on Tuesday. Believe it or not, it actually looks like a really good forecast for the start of the fair because of that cold front. 70s and less humid on Wednesday, early showers. A few sprinkles Thursday morning. Most of us are dry. Low 70s, low humidity, and sunshine for the end of the week and the weekend.